Whether you are an experienced player trying to start a new server, or you are a new player that are trying to start <laughs> a new server as well, we always want to be overpowered in our games, especially in these ones that uh, it requires for you to be farming and farming and farming. Now, arms, far arms, it actually takes quite a while, basically because of the progression of how the game works, you are supposed to be using uh, primitive weapons first. You're supposed to be using bows, uh, improved bows, better versions, elemental versions of those bows, crossbows, uh, improved versions of those crossbows, elemental weapons, elemental crossbows, and it actually takes quite a while until you actually manage to get to the firearms. But you can actually get, I've already said actually quite a bit of times, <laughs> you can get the firearms that much faster. If you do some little things, uh, it is going to require money, so in this video I'm going to show you how to get money, how to get the money to get those firearms, how to get to the locations that you're going to need to go to the firearms, and how to get unlimited am ammunition without having to craft it, because of course you're going to need ammunition and you're going to be low level, you're not going to be able to craft the ammunition because you're not going to be low level, so you are, you're going to be needing money. The first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go to the fisherman's point, right here. Just for reference, you will begin your game right here on the plot to our beginnings. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. There's uh, some things that are going to be, to be faster and that it is going to cause you less issue. Some of these areas actually do have high level pals, high level Pokemons, whatever you would like to call them. And uh, depending on the area that you are on at that time, they are going to be aggressive or not and all of that kind of good stuff that we all love. The path that he, I would advise for you to take is to go all the way over here and then from here head over to this beach. This beach has low level pals that are not aggressive. If you head over immediately uh, from here, this is going to allow you to pass through here as well. There's a bit of a climb in here. If you're skilled enough, you can bypass it or you can uh, swim if you have enough stamina around here. I would advise that at this point you should have like a a capture pal that you can mount like a dire howl it doesn't require that much more level but it can be done without the pal it's just that it is going to take quite a bit more you're going to notice that it is quite close from the volcano you don't have to worry about that you don't have to use an outfit resistant to uh, hot weather because the hot weather is going to be right there as you can see I'm using cold armor and I am not getting any debuff, it doesn't matter if I am getting the debuff from there because at the end of the day, while you are on the beach, while you remain here on the beach and in here the hot weather is not going to affect you. All you have to do is just travel to the beach right here. Now, there's a couple of singularities that this location is going to have that it is going to be amazing for us. First and foremost, it's going to be that merchant. Although, before we actually talk about that guy, I want to show you the rest of them. There's a merchant down here, then it is going to sell you pals. It doesn't matter, you don't. You shouldn't be paying attention to that guy. Pals are very expensive, and usually the skills that you are going to get from them are really not that worth it. But then, we're going to have the wandering merchant that we're going to have right here. And this guy actually sells medicine, which is very useful. He also sells high quality pal oil, which is very useful, although you're not going to be using it because usually, the high quality pal oil is to craft uh, firearms, which is something that you're naturally not going to be doing. At least not until you start crafting the polymer and you get 230-ish and you start uh, changing the stuff that we're going to be using right here. So there is indeed that. Anyways, there's medicine right here. But the merchant that we are more interesting in is going to be this one. As a matter of fact, it's going to be two merchants. Uh, I'll leave it up to your discussion and to your discretion which one do you prefer. But this guy is going to sell a makeshift handgun. I consider this to be the best weapon until you manage to get a rifle. Because if you place in comparison, you go to technology, it actually takes quite a bit of time before you can actually craft the handgun, which is supposed to be a little bit better. I do not like the handgun that much because it burns ammunition faster. The fire rate is just so fast and it deals less damage than the makeshift handgun that you have right here. So. Ideally, this is going to, the handgun ammunition is going to uh, be more of an annoyance to craft it because it, it is going to give you less by giving you some, some kind of a return. I, I, I mean, I guess 
what I'm trying to explain in here is that you can use your makeshift handgun until you reach level 36 where you get the single shot rifle which is the only acceptable upgrade that I would consider for you to change the weapon meaning that we're going to have 36 levels as soon as we begin the game by using a single weapon with infinite ammunition that said all you have to do is just purchase the makeshift handgun right here right now i am broke as brokes can be brokes can get you're also going to need ammunition voila the ammunition is going to be right here there is coarse ammo handgun uh, handgun ammo this one uh it's uh it, it costs the same thing although it shouldn't this one should be a little bit more expensive but hey who am I to discuss about the semantics of how they program and they discuss the progression of their games? We have rifle ammo, shotgun shells, assault rifle ammo right here. This is the one that we're going to be using. But since I am broke, as broke can be, I can only purchase four bullets. So there is no bueno, there is no good compadre. We need something a little bit more spicy. We need to spice things up to be able to use my uh weapon right here i do have a couple of more bullets that i have bullets that i have been uh, farming by uh hunting the uh syndicate guys but uh you're going to need money uh one of the ways that you can get money i'll give you a couple of them this is my favorite just sell stuff this precious pelt and also precious claw you get these guys from uh fighting against low level uh, alpha pals and get getting 20 and 20 it really is not that difficult as a matter of fact I got 20 just by a killing a handful of them and remember that they are going to be respawning they are also going to give you diagrams and you're also going to be leveling so it's always a nice idea to be fighting against alphas so you come to this guy and then you sell your precious spells and your precious claw the rest of the ones that I have right there, they are high levels, so I'm not going to be using them for this showcase. For this to be as transparent as possible, so we sell these guys, and we get uh, 23,000 gold. I talk to this guy once again, and I purchase the ammunition to the maximum, I get immediately 200 bullets. And I can spray and spam this thing because it doesn't have that much of a fire rate, it doesn't have that much of a magazine, but it also has quite a bit of damage. As you can see right here, it has 320 attack power, while the handgun, which is the supposed upgrade, the one that is supposed to be the upgrade, is just 250 attack power. And then you have the other option, the one that I would say that it is not as good, it is not as ideal, but it's still a firearm. And for this one, you're going to need to come to this deserty area. And as a matter of fact, once again, you do not need armor to traverse through here. You do not need any specific kind of armor. Uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, my armor that gives me that uh, cold resistance. But if I take away that armor, it's just going to be the very same thing. I'm on a city right here, but if I go outside into the supposed desert, it is not going to be any hot weather that it is going to affect me. The only hot weather that it is going to affect you is going to be on the volcano and the little small desert that you have right here. So how do I get uh, to this place? Well, this is a little bit uh, more simple. I should like to believe, I should like to say. Uh, you begin right here at the plateau of beginnings and then you head over to the uh, where you find the catrus. Uh, you activate this little island hopper coast and you keep moving forward, like you keep moving uh, all throughout these two islands. And as a matter of fact, these are already going to be discovered on your map. So you just have to come here. And then you find the beach that you find right here. And then you, s I do not know, maybe some kind of pal to uh, move through, uh, through here. If you do not want to move with a pal, you do have to go through a little bit more of the map. There's going to be higher level pals right here, but you can safely ignore them. This gap allows you to, pra to pass, to cross, without the necessity of having a pal. And here, you'll find one more merchant that is going to sell one more firearm. And if you choose to, then you might as well be using it. But this is a musket. The musket deals quite a bit of damage, but it takes like 54 years to load every single time that you fire this thing, so I'd not advise for you to use it. However, 
If you feel that you want to be use it, using it, it has tremendous amounts of firepower. It really kicks a punch. That much I can tell you. And your ammo, which is also going to be using course ammo right here, it is going to last you quite a bit longer if you have, like, for example, um, the uh, 244 bullets that I have right here. They are going to last me for quite a while until I manage to farm for, for more money to keep purchasing stuff and, and bullets. But uh, they are going to run out uh, at the end of the day. If you have like those 232 bullets with your musket, that is going to last you for an eternity. You're going to be the new Matusalem with if you're using this thing. So <laughs> yeah, with a musket. That's one more thing that you can do. So now, how about ways of making money? Cats. The cats are going to give you infinite amounts of money while you have them at your base and uh yeah i mean i mean that that's passive money that's one of the ways that you can make this thing work it doesn't really actually take you that long until you get the ranch so matter of fact the ranch is one of the it's going to be one of the first structures that you are going to get all throughout your leveling which is going to be right here at level five at level five you can have your ranch and at level 5 you can start uh, farming for this beautiful passive income and as a matter of fact you can choose AFK quite a bit to get the money in here uh, it is going to take quite a while I mean it is free money and it could also be saved by your pal oh my god <laughs> I didn't notice that I had that much in here so yeah your pals can also be gathering it for you as, as you can see it is quite a bit but it is not going to be as much as it is going to be by capturing the high level, uh, the, the low level alpha pals. The location of the cat pals, I will have it on screen. As a matter of fact, you will be seeing it on screen right now. On where to get it, I am going to show you the location. This actually is from a dungeon, and there is no way on the real map, uh, on the real overworld, where you're going to find them. I've tried, I think that I've found some, maybe it's not at night, but this is a location that you're for sure going to find them, and your Pokeballs or uh, Pal Spheres or whatever you would like to call them, it is not really going to require that much for you to craft them, because they are going to be low level Pal Spheres that you are going to use to capture these lovely, lovely Pals, which is just going to be lovely, delightful, and amazing. And finally, you can also sell pals at the uh, Black Merchant. So, yeah, then again, as you can see, there are many, many ways of getting rich on Pal World. There's just too many ways that you can do it. And uh, now you know if you're going to begin a new server, you're a new player, you want to start the game as best as possible. This is an infinite source of ammunition that you don't have to craw that you don't have to craft. You don't need to have the recipe for it, so you don't really have to level up. And this is something that you are going to, that it is going to last you. It is going to be good all throughout level one to level thirty. So all from 1 to level 30, you try and start a new server with your friends, you're going to be very very powerful because just the, this handgun is just so much fun and it is, it is actually one of my favorite weapons in the game. If you like the content, you like and appreciate appreciated, and also you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful beautiful person. I will see you guys and gorgeous and beautiful people in this one. Have a lovely, lovely day and goodbye.